Got the winch unhooked. I'll back this truck up. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 19 here on Go Crest Valley 19. Folks, today, yep, you see it. Your host was not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, his combine just went down. Well, we notice it's been getting loud. And yeah, something other. Something wrong with the transmission. Talked to the dealership guy, John, last night. And he said, just go ahead and bring it up to the market shop. I'll give you, uh, you know, buy it from you. And you know, just turn around and buy another combine if you want to. Or do it that way. Because it's not under warranty. So I'm like, well, I gotta do something. But our soybeans are ready. And, and let's just go in here real quick. Not only are soybeans are ready, folks. Let's turn grass on so y'all can see that. I'm gonna turn, as you can see, our cotton fields are 100% fertilized, best as capacity. Our other two field or three fields are fertilized. We got our grass, uh, the barn, Right in here, our grain silo is going to go somewhere. It might go right in here. I still ain't figured that out yet. But, as you can see, in this next one, 14, 16, 19, and 24 is done. I mean, ready. Of course, our levee spot here. And um, some other grass areas we got are ready. Train station's ready. We got... Uh, what I call the uh, wind bind field or something like that but if you look at this these two are soybeans these two are cotton fields uh, this one's ain't this field here ain't too long behind that and then our sugar beets gonna be ready pretty soon too yeah now it won't be far folks we, we're gonna be busy busy beavers or just running around with her heads like uh, chickens. I ain't gonna say the other word, you know, cut, cut. Yeah, but anyway. And uh, I gotta get this equipment packed up and put in the shed and stuff before it rains, especially a planter. And we need a drill or something. Oh, be right back. All right, I figured while we was up here waiting on John to open at seven, I'll go ahead and put some fuel in the trailer. I don't know why it says I'm blocking. Oh well. Or a glitch or something. We're almost full. 3,750 liters of diesel is what this thing holds. And that's going to be a whopping, whopping price tag, folks. Oh, that and the combine. And we got to get a cotton picker. Our cotton's almost ready, too. By the time we get done with the beans. All right, and that price tag is four thousand six hundred and eighty-seven dollars, folks. Four thousand six hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Oh my! And, and a coke and a and a honey bun. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get back over to the shop with this, and I'll see y'all when he opens. Hi, right, everybody. After doing some serious talking with John. Um. Yeah, time to sell this thing. Uh, you can pretty much see that the money's gone down. And that our surprise is sitting right over there. Well, not surprise, but we bought in place of this thing. Let's see. We told them we go ahead and pay for repair costs, so we want to do that. 49785 for the header. And then, uh, yeah, time to get the combine off here. Um, a dollar. That's been a gasket or something that we needed. But anyway, uh, we're gonna sell this for one seventy one nine oh eight. Brings us to one thousand seventy one dollars. Oh wait, where is it? Two sixty eight three three four. I was reading the wrong one, folks. Man, he gets it off the trailer fast. Well, okay. Um, we're gonna drive ours back. 
or get somebody to drive it back for us. And we gotta get these trucks out of here. We got a couple of pieces of equipment to load up, which John's gonna do that. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Start this baby up. Green Star 3. Alright. We do have GPS and all that good stuff. Uh, I didn't get the max that this combine could do. Just simply for. I forgot how close I was to my truck. Uh, we don't really have the money because we can get a cotton picker too. And I'm thinking about this go ahead and come straight out and buy the cotton picker and some of the stuff that we need. So I'm going to get somebody to drive this back to the shop for us. Let's see, farm to. Uh, I need a uh, market to farm. Alright, there we go. Right, of course. Uh, we're going to get Zach to drive that for us. Don't wreck it now. Okay. Um. Yeah, we, we need a cotton picker. We might, might as well go ahead and look at our tablet and get that ordered. Uh, probably in the harvesters. Uh, should be all the way over. Um, or is it? Oh, this is strictly compacts. Yeah, um, right here, cotton technology. Should be under this. I wish we'd get one of these bad boys here. Let's look at these. These, you know, we can't afford them now. But, hey, maybe we can, next year or two, this one with the duels, all four-wheel drive. I don't know too much about them, but I think that this and here's one with, yeah, you can get uh, tracks on it. Now, I haven't seen the ones with the tracks around here yet, but I was watching a couple of YouTubers um, up north had them. Alright, this is um, full of drive with the duels. And this one is the single full of drive. I don't know really the difference in the two. They're the same price. So I'm going to order the one with the duels and of course GPS. Um, now, 165,000. Let's buy it. Oh, there we go. Alright, that is bought. And we're probably going to need this guy here, which picks up the bells when we get done. But we're going to worry about him a little later on because we don't have the money. But we do have to go. And I don't know where it's at. I really don't to save my life. So I'm going to take a short little break here. Yeah, yeah bring y'all back in a second when I find it. All right, be right back. All right. Here it is, folks. It's in the baling technology. Now what this is, uh, we dump the cotton in here. This thing here comes along, packs it down into a bale. And that's how I decided to where to find it. Yeah. yeah, in real life, you know, this hooks up to a, a tractor, and it's got a PTL that runs to a, a pump and a big tank here that has hydraulic oil on it, and it don't have the motor like this, um, and a lot of times they don't have a cab, so that's going to be fun to see, so we're going to go ahead and buy this. And this will be the last thing we got to buy because we probably going to have to buy some fertilizer or seeds or something. Oh, wait, there is one more thing. I, I forgot about it. It's going to be in cedars. 
Are we gonna buy a planter? Well, kinda. We get we got so grass, folks. So we're gonna go all the way over to the end. What? Uh, planters? It's in. It's gotta be in this. Unless I just scrolled right on past it. I probably just scrolled right on past it. Yeah. Uh, it's something like that right there, but that's not it. Ooh. Let's go back to cedars. It, it's like a fertilized spreader. It, it, it's, it's like that, but it's not it. That's, uh, uh, ah, here it is. I thought it was blue. Meadow cedar. 20,000. Uh, it was just, uh, what was it, grass, I think? But anyway, it says, with a cedar planter, you can sow fields, fertilize spreaders, and improve the harvest of your yields. So, see, it's not really got fertilized, it's just for seeds, grass, I think, oil seed radish, wheat, barley, and canola. So, yeah, we're going to buy this and show you all that. I don't know if that's going to be this episode or not. All right, we're going to back out all this. We're down to 30,000. And uh, we'll just leave this trailer here. Um, let's go find our combine, shall we? All right, we're back in this because I forgot to buy the header for the cotton picker. Now, I don't think there's any difference in them. They're both identical as far as I can tell. identical but this one right here should be the one that I need and that's 18,000 so that's really gonna bring us down but don't worry we got some wood we can sell hopefully um, yeah so that's all that I will be right back folks as soon as I find the combine all right I found the combine look over here at the cotton fields these two are just ooh, so white snow white yeah, so white so so white Snow White is in over Okay, okay. My bad, folks. My bad. But we gotta go over to that field there. That's what we're gonna be harvesting. And, uh, yeah. First, we're gonna apply some grease and stuff. Oh, I got a log there. I gotta get up. Gotta supply some grease and stuff to this thing. I always like to do it, even though the, uh, you know, dealership and stuff got it brand new from the factory. I still like to just double check behind. No fence truck. Be right back, folks, when I get it greased. All right, we're going to get this beast here fired up. That's not supposed to lower when we start it up. Here's my mind, don't work with this. Alright, um, I get my map on here. I, I have a hard time telling which way is north and south. Right, we are north and south heading this way. Right here. Yeah, so I want to go east and west. Yeah, turn on GPS. Get that pulled up. Go over here. Hopefully that works. All the way. We got one of the new GPS comes out when it turns on the um, um, That should work. Yep, our line's that way. Now, I'm gonna cut across the end here. Just give us enough room to turn around. Then we're gonna go up and down. So I see. About 12 minutes or 16, I got about 16 minutes. Let me do put a speedy in. Y'all want to see a speedy? Yeah, let me, let me put a speedy in. It'll just make it look a little bit more better, folks. So, see you back in a few.
Alright, I don't know exactly how much I got in a little speedy, as they call it, but our combine's almost full and it's not quite going to hold it, so bring the green cart around. And yes, I do not have a truck on the trailer right now. I'm going to have to do that. But hopefully he'll get down here and get turned around. I'll launch my drone real quick. I just don't think he's going to make it. I just don't think he's going to make it. I'm going to fly back. Whoa. There we go. Come on, dude. Ninety-six percent. Thirty-one percent. I don't think he's going to make it. Then again, he might. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Let's sit here and watch, see how he turns around. I'm curious about this new worker. Yeah, um... Uh, I might show short. I don't even know who I had in there. I think I had Zach driving it. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Zach drove it over here, but Zach's working on something else right now. And we got uh, Bloody Fox Gaming. Hope I said that right. I got bad memory, folks. Don't hold it against me. But I will believe it's. I'll insert a tag right here. Bloody Fox Gaming. I hope I said that right. We'll find out when I go edit, huh? Well, I will. Alright, he's done a pretty good job. I gotta get under that spout. Gotta keep him rolling. But, you know, it's beans pretty dry this morning. We're getting lucky. Early autumn. 8 o'clock in the morning. Come on, buddy, put that pipe out. Uh, you teasing me? Let's pipe out. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, dude. There you go. Is it not registering this buggy or something? Don't tell me we're going to have trouble with this combine. This ain't the, the newest one that I wanted to work up to. It's pretty close. I can't remember who this is by, but the one I'm wanting is by Sid. Oh, we going to have the... Oh. It's not the hired worker, it's the, uh, we'll blame it on the combine. Dehire, put the pipe out. I don't want to say dehire. You just have to over it. I need to get these on course play workers. The only thing about course play, they leave some on the ends. And I think it's this buggy. I might upgrade the buggy for the next harvest, hopefully. Maybe they'll make it through this and all we got is well I say all we got is this being filled and one across the tracks up there. But I've thought about doing some uh, 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 contracts for people and it would be auto saved. Alright. Uh, let's go to here. Yeah. Um, I got two more fertilized contracts to do. Let's go ahead and collect these I, I forgot all about these I'm uh, not too much but we'll go ahead and help out this stuff here it's pretty easy 
Now see, field 21, I, I, I don't know. Let's see, transport, transport, sowing, harvest. Let's see, fertilize, fertilize. You got four fertilized contracts, and he's wanting uh, soybeans to go crash Pacific grain. Field 21. Field 21 is way over here. I think we'll pass. If it was over here somewhere, yeah, I'd say go for it. Now, how are we on Field 7? Folks, I, I don't remember mine. Did I lease it on accident? Oh, we got a great demand. Um, right, agribusiness is oats. That was bigger. What's your soybeans going for? Because uh, 25, 27. Okay. I better check a hold on. I guess I need to. I have that working back now, don't I? Uh, once again, bloody pox scanning. And Zach is over there working on a cotton picker. Nothing uh, wrong with it. He uh, greased it, took it out, made sure everything is running good. And uh, going from there. Now this field here, like I said, we're going to be moving some more dirt. And get that level with that ground there all the way over. We'll probably end up buying field 12 before it's said and done. And just taking all this to the hill and go from there. And we're going to park this right here. I need to you know, let's go ahead and shut it off and save some fuel. Uh, folks, I should be getting pretty close to being out of time uh, for this episode. So, uh,. Let me do a few things and I'll bring you back here in just a second. We're going to see what the total is on that field. And uh, go from there. I'm going to hook up the grain hopper. Hopper bottom. Oh, there it is. So it's a great, I knew I just saw it. I got to get some of this equipment out of the way too. I'll be back in a second. All right, I got the truck hooked up and uh, Blade Park in and got going with the soybeans. We didn't have too much left in here, so uh, we're just going to put it in the uh, auger. Whoa! I got to pay attention to what I'm doing too, don't I? That'd probably cause some damage in the real line. I said, we don't need that. Disengage that and then take that off. Alright, we empty. We got to go to the upper field up there, but we'll do that in the next episode. If I don't decide to, now this header is a little bit tipsy for this combine. I like the McDonald headers; they they are awesome. And we got sixteen thousand four hundred ninety-one liters of soybeans. I think I, I hope the other field brings more than this. Uh, I'm going to put this load in the front hopper and we'll put the other field in the back hopper. Oh, unless it's more than what we, you know, have, which would be nice, but I doubt it. The field's about the same size. You're probably wondering what we're going to do with the sugar beets. Well, we're going to lease a machine when it comes time for them. Don't think they're ready yet. Going down here. Oh, see. oh, they're still grown along with that cotton field there. So we got 16 to go. And uh, yeah. Also, somewhere in here, I'm going to find my flatbed trailer. We're going to load up some of those bales and take them to EGA. I think we get more for them. So hopefully. Tomorrow we'll see the prices at the back. So, um, yeah. Sorry it's short, folks, but I've been, been, let's see, 27 on this end, plus I got like four or five minutes on the uh, episode before this, a couple of days ago, that I started and couldn't finish. So, by the time I get all that added, it'll probably be about 30 minutes. So, 
Yeah. Y'all have a uh, great day, a blessed day, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. And folks, don't forget, I love y'all. Y'all are awesome. Keep hitting that like button for me. It's helped me out a lot. See y'all later.